Hi guys, welcome to Off the 10th. My name is Chris, and today for the next beer on this, I guess, Bellwoods theme review time. Sure, I'll just call it that. That's what we're doing. This bunch of reviews is going to be based on Bellwoods Brewing out of Toronto, Ontario. These guys are pretty good so far, and today we are taking a look at Roman Candle IPA. Roman Candle IPA, yes. This beer has been out for a while, I think. I've never had it. I've always wanted to try it. So, and it's funny because on my last review, I was like, you know what? I haven't done really any IPAs from Bellwoods. And I'm like, you know what? And then I realized that when I did get my order, I was like, oh, I got three IPAs. The third one will probably be filmed very soon it's the ipa with maple syrup the double ipa with maple syrup i think that's what it is i can't remember the name of it but i know a bunch of my beer reviewing buddies did get that as well so i kind of want to see what they thought of it anyway let's take a look at the roman candle ipa it's coming in at 6.8 percent alcohol by volume it's in a 473 milliliter can it's labeled as a strong beer uh canning date oh there it is November 2nd. Wow, this is very, very fresh and very new. So let's get into this right now. And I probably just killed the microphone there, but whatever. Um, just rinse the glass. Here we go. Let's pour it. All right, Roman candle coming out all hazy. Hazy and crazy. Um, like I said in my last review, IPAs are pretty much done for me this year, but I just wanted to get these ones out of the way because I've never had them. So, yeah, soon we'll be getting into the darker stuff. And uh, when I do the IPA with the maple syrup, that'll probably be the transition or whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyway, look at this beer. It poured off hazy and crazy. It's cold. Just came out of my fridge with some condensation there on the glass. Uh, head on this is a cloudy, bright white head. This looks damn delicious uh there is light coming through this beer you can't really see it anywhere i can see it because the soft boxes are right over there and it's not as turbid and murky as the last ipa did from these guys but nevertheless let's take a smell oh this is fresh this is giving me a little bit of the um a little bit of that a hot burn smell that little onion and garlicky smell on this one i like this that's only a good sign of a good beer. That's why I say it. But uh, yeah, a um, little bit of a floral note on this one as well. And we're picking up a little bit of an orange or I want to say uh, clementine or something like that. Maybe even a tangerine or tangelo. Shout out to uh, whoever says that. Yeah, it smells fantastic. Cheers, guys. Let's drink it. Mm. well i'll tell you right away bellwoods they do got good ipas this is the second ipa and uh, that i've had from these guys and they're two for two this is actually really freaking delicious 6.8 percent you can't tell it's drinking like it's four percent whatever um body on this one is a little bit thinner than the last one i did mm-hmm the last one I did, I think it was called an IPA, it had a bigger body than this one. I mean, it was 7.3%, but this is sitting at 6.8%. You'd think this would have a little bit of a bigger body, but it doesn't. But it really doesn't, you know, it doesn't lose any points for me. It really doesn't. It's kind of one thing I kind of wish it had a bigger body on it, but it doesn't. It's on the very low end of medium, uh, pretty much the high end of thin on this one. Paul would think it's thin because he thinks everything's thin, but whatever. Yeah, super creamy though going down. This has no lactose in it, I believe. But this is very, very creamy. Like, it's funny because there is, as I say, there's no lactose in this. As I keep smacking my lips so annoyingly, it's giving me a kind of a little bit of a vanilla. Like, a, I'm kind of like a creamsicle kind of a vibe on this one. And I like that. I almost fucking dropped a glass. That would have sucked. Mm-hmm. But definitely picking up some kind of orange taste on this one as well as a little bit of a mango taste on this 
This is pretty spot on. This is fantastic. Guys, in my own opinion, another winner from Bellwoods. This Roman Candle IPA is definitely worth checking out. Guys, go on their website. Check them out. I find I freaking sound like a commercial for Bellwoods now. Go check them out. $10 delivery, all of Ontario. Get it real fast. I mean, real fast. Order that stuff. You know what? I'm done with my own opinion. And in my own opinion, this stuff's awesome. Anyway, guys, as I burp away, I have to leave and say goodbye. Like the video if you want. Subscribe. Hit that notification if you want. And other than that, I'm done. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will talk to you later. Peace.